Welcome to the Belt Loop 29 channel. I'm Belt Loop 29. It's my Aunt Sue. When it comes to cooking, you just can't beat Aunt Sue. She has the best Mexican cornbread of anybody's, and we're about to see how it's made. She has graciously allowed us into her kitchen in order to see, you know, how she makes it. That way, it won't be lost to history. Okay, step one is got to have a cast iron skillet doesn't work in any other kind as well. So I have greased my skillet real well and the first step is you're going to go um, turn on the oven to 425 degrees and let it preheat and while it's heating I go ahead and put my skillet in and let it get hot because your skillet needs to be good and hot when you pour the cornbread mix in. So we're going to have to go to my backup kitchen because we're in my mini kitchen right now. Okay, we're going to turn our oven on bake, set our temperature at 425, start, and we're going to put our skillet in and let it get hot while we mix up our cornbread. Okay, for our cornbread, uh, I think he's going to put a copy of the recipe on at the end somewhere. But It'll be in the description. We need two cups of cornmeal mix. We need one cup of milk. Any particular kind of milk? I use 2% because that's just what I always buy. But okay. Any, any kind of milk will be all right. Okay. Now, my husband and I will disagree on the oil because I don't use as much as he does. But... I use the original recipe, calls for two-thirds of a cup, but we use a little more. He puts a whole cup, and I put about three-quarters of a cup, or maybe a tad more. Pour that in. We need three eggs. Now, a lot of people don't know much about cooking, or at least this is designed, hopefully, to somebody who don't know how to cook and how to do it. You know, why do you do it? Why do you break the eggs on the outside and then... Just a little tad of eggshell in there. i got to try to get that out. All right. So, I assume that's why you go through and crack them? I do them one egg at a time simply because if you happen to get a bad egg... You don't have to throw them all away. There we go. I just have a habit of doing one egg at a time. Get our three eggs. Now, those are your basic cornbread ingredients. Four ingredients. Now, to make it Mexican, we add one can of whole kernel corn. And I've drained it already. chopped jalapenos. You yep. can do this to taste. Some people like more, some people like less. I use about that much. <clears throat> and stir it up. And you're using a sharp cheddar. I use sharp cheddar because I like sharp cheddar. And the original recipe, we've modified the original recipe that we had, but we like cheese. So I usually use more than the cup full that it actually calls for. So I guess that just kind of depends on how cheesy you want it. It does. 
We like cheese. I do too. All right, now, as soon as our skillet gets hot and our temperature gets up to 425, that's ready. The thermostat reads 425, and I'm sure the skillet has heated up as well. It's nice and hot, and got a little smoke going on it. All right. So we're gonna pour our mix in there. You'll hear it sizzle. Oh, sweet! You know it's hot enough. You can see the bubbling around the edges too. That's making me hungry. Get every bit of that big stuff out of there. I heard that. Yeah. Alright, we're going to put it back in here and we're going to bake this until it gets pretty golden brown. And that's around 40 minutes or so usually. I don't usually time it, I just watch it till it gets the right color. Thankfully, my aunt had the foresight to make us one in advance. So I'm gonna get to uh, enjoy it rather than having to wait that 40 minutes. I know y'all are jealous. That's all right, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> oh yeah. This one got a little browner than I usually do. Yeah, but it's beautiful. And I know it's, and you can smell it, smells good too. I ain't gonna lie you, to you. When you take it out, you're gonna want to let it sit there for just a minute. Of course, if it were really hot, we would have it on a, I usually set it on the stove over there. I'll put us a plate on there. Give it a flip. And this is very, very hot when you are working with the real skillet, so. And here's the finished product. Man, that looks good. Now, let's go ahead and cut into that so we can see what it looks like on the inside and so I can get a bite of it. All right, I'm about ready for some food. Ready? It's already filming. Folks, I can't tell y'all how much my mouth is watering right now. Mmm. I have no doubt if you could taste what I'm tasting, you'd be jealous. I'm just going to tell y'all, if y'all got any special requests for my Aunt Sue, I can't promise that she'll do it, but she might. Leave a request, see if, uh, see if you got something in particular you want to see, you know, how she makes it. Because she is one heck of a cook, I ain't going to lie to you. That's mighty good. I'm going to say the rest of my appetite. Well, I'm not. Because your mom is cooking tonight. Yeah. I'm going to want another piece of this in a minute. And I'm going to gift her with a ton of Mexican cornbread. <laughs> hey, y'all. Just wanted to point out one more thing. My Aunt Sue has got to be the person that I know with the most Christmas spirit year-round. And she's already started to display Christmas ornaments and it's here it's here in July now I love her decorating she has a certain sense of flair and style that you just don't get everywhere anyhow she has promised me that she will go through and see what she can do about you know if I come back 
you know, with my camera. Something Christmassy. Maybe it's a ham. I don't know. But she's such a good cook that, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing whatever she has in mind. By the way, you know, it's my understanding. I heard a rumor the other day, and I'm just repeating it just once. You won't hear me repeating it twice. But I've heard that clicking on the subscribe button and clicking a thumbs up on this video will make you a better cook. Yep. <laughs>